What is crackalating, people? It's Dopa, and I'm back again, and you're watching my show on YouTube. If you didn't know, I don't know how you got here, but you figured it out, so I'm glad you figured it out, because you was able to click on the button and see this beautiful face. But anyway, today I'm going to talk about my trip to Huntsville, Alabama. That is two hours away from Nashville. I jumped in my car, went down to Huntsville, Decided to find me some comic books, did a little comic book hunting, and found a place called The Deep. The Deep is one of the best stores in Alabama. I walked up in that mug, spent some money, and I got a stack of books. So I found me some books, stayed all night at the Westin, and then I drove all the way back. Got some pancakes, too. Gotta get some pancakes when you're in uh, Huntsville. Why? I don't know, but you gotta get some pancakes. Hashtag pancakes Huntsville. I don't know. Anyway, let's check out the books I found, and if you live through all of that, and uh, you don't cut the video off, I'll show you an old pre-code horse slab. So, that is your reward for sticking through all this uh, nonsense. But anyway, nothing left but to do it to it, so let's get to chopping, baby! So, uh, first book I picked up was uh, Batman number 164. Anytime I find these old Silver Age Batman in good shape that I don't have, I have to pick them up. They're inexpensive. And really, Batman's probably my favorite superhero. I don't like superheroes too good, but he's got the creepiest rogue gallery. I mean, Scarecrow, Joker. I, I love the new Riddler. So, love me some old Batman. And mainly the Silver Age stuff because the, the Golden Age stuff is a little campy. But anyway, if you look at this cover here, we got a dude. It's a little campy. He's a... Uh, kids today don't even know what this dude's got in his hand. But he's got a TV antenna and he's shocking the fire out of uh, Batman and Robin. So I didn't know a TV antenna could do that. But a vacuum cleaner salesman with a TV antenna is deadly, baby. Yeah. Next, I was able to find this. Now, this is a rare, hard thing to find right here. This is the Batman number 210. And if you ever find this, this is the first appearance of this group here. They're called the Poontang Clan. And, uh, you know, you got Cheetah back there. You got uh, Razor Burn. You got, uh, uh, who else you got here? You got a, a menstrual cycle right there, and uh, you got a fire crotch. So this is the Poontang clan. Uh, they're an all-girl group. Uh, they're kind of like, you know, DC's version of girl X-Men. Uh, so you can't beat the Poontang clan. The Poontang clan, they could be in the next big Batman movie. So hashtag Poontang clan. Uh, my favorite is Razorburn with the specs all over right there. She's got razor burn. Yeah. So this is a good one. Aunt Flo, she later joined the Poutine clan, but that was in a, a Batman 211. This is 210. So this is original four members of the Poutine clan. Find this book, pick it up. I don't know if they uh, talk about that on uh, all your little apps or not, but that's the first appearance of them. And uh, here is a, a nice Nick Cardi cover. I always pick up these Teen Titan Nick Cardi covers. This is one I didn't have, and I had to get with it because I wanted it. So, you know, Kid Flash right here is pretty fast, but he faster with this dude with the 30-30. Do the 30-30 on some skis, taking them all out. What else we got down here? Oh, this is probably my favorite book I picked up this week, and it's a Charlton. Mysterious of the Unexplored Worlds. For July. And we got uh, a, a three-eyed dragon. We got a caveman. And we got Colonel Sanders, baby. I don't know what Colonel Sanders has to do with all this. But, uh, you know, cool book. Never seen it. Love it. This is the kind of goofy shit I get into. Knee deeper. Yeah, knee deep into this goofy shit. But this right here is happening. Like it. Like it a lot. And... We grabbed a couple of Daredevils. We got Daredevil number 13. Uh, the origin of uh, Kazar or Kazar. 
Uh, not don't know much about him, but uh, it sounds like uh, he might have uh, coming out of the sewer. He might be the first original Ninja Turtle backstory. I don't know. Uh, they whoever whoever made Kazar might want to sue the Ninja Turtles because he was coming out of the, the sewers way before the Ninja Turtles. So, and then we got this one, which is number nine. Cool cover here. We got a guy with a crossbow looking off a of wussy. We got Colonel Sanders again. We got uh, Baby Love. We got uh, Daredevil with some horns, smiling. Uh, he must feel the presence of Baby Love. Yeah. Baby Love. Who don't love Baby Love? Anyway. Then we got the very first House of Mystery 174, but this is considered the first horror. This is where it all started for House of Mystery. This is when it started getting good. And I picked this up for a 20 spot. Woo, 20 spot. Got that $20 bill out of my pocket quick. It was on fire. And then we got a House of Mystery. Dude walks into a pet store and gets attacked by a lobster. It's not really that scary. But I picked them up. I probably paid $2 for that. Then we got this weird mystery. I love the weird mystery. Weird mystery got some great covers. Nobody talks about weird mystery tales. But all the covers of weird mystery are pretty badass. And this one's got a nice big bat flying around and a zombie hand and a, a lady in red, red in distress. So, and then we got this one. It's not centered too well. Look at that. 20 cents is cut off, but it ain't been trimmed. I measured it and everything, and it's, it's all there, brother. It's just funky. But anyway, this guy's trying to break into a safe, and he did not look out for the giant pet octopus. And then we got Secrets of Haunted House, number one. Very underrated. Yeah, Secrets of Haunted House and Secrets of Sinister House both don't get much love in the DC universe. People don't remember these books. But this is the number one issue, and it's bad to the bone. Yeah, it's breaking necks and cashing checks. Feel the smoke. Can you feel the smoke? Feel the smoke. All right. What else we got over here? Uh, you know, I can't go nowhere without about getting some witching hour. You know, if I'm hanging on by a twig and the twig's about to break, last thing I want to do is reach out for this skeleton. I think I'd take my luck with the water. But, you know. Oh, well. And then we got this guy. He's about to get attacked by a shark. And he's trying to grab the hand of a skeleton man. Oh, death. So I think I'm taking my chance with the shark. You can't kill death. And I don't know what's going on here. We got a skeleton that was getting married. And uh, he's got bubble gum poured on his face. And uh, if you look close back here, this guy's got the seven-year itch. He's, he's scratching his ribs. We got a Nazi over here and a queen bee haircut. Big a big beehive haircut. I don't know, but this guy got bubble gum poured on him, but he was a skeleton, so I don't know why he's got hubba bubba poured on him, but he's got some bubble gum poured on him, so he's uh, looking like some sweet meat now. Hashtag sweet meat. And what else do we got down here? We got uh, astronaut skeletons. How can you beat that? This is some witching hour. Number 81 with some, uh, got some old skeletons in outer space. So that's a pretty cool cover. And the last cheap ass book of this group would be uh, this Witching Hour number 82 I needed for my run of 85. And uh, he's walking around with a chicken nugget in his hand. And there's some guys back here worshiping this moon with Skeletor in it. And this dude feels like I do when I leave McDonald's. And I'm like, man, only one nugget? I thought I ordered a six-piece. Motherfucker gave me one nugget. One nugget. Anyway, he's got one nugget. So that's the books I picked up in Huntsville. So let's get to this uh, slab. So I grabbed a slab that I didn't think nobody's seen yet. It's a 5.5 from 1953. And it's one of the only pre-code horror covers I know that is pink. But it's still spooky. Yeah. Check that out. We got a dude choking down here. Choking himself. And we got this badass Grim Reaper. Coming over the top of these uh, condos in, uh, in the Bronx somewhere. And we got a barbershop right here. Because there's the pole. And this guy is choking himself. I've heard of a lot of ways to commit suicide. But never by choking yourself. But he is choking himself. 
And he maybe he's so afraid of this Grim Reaper that you can see the building's three stories tall. This Grim Reaper's six foot tall. A 60 foot tall Grim Reaper may be so afraid of him that he's going to choke himself to death real quick. So I don't know. But this is Web of Evil number eight. And it's a great cover. I love it. It's in great shape. It's a 5.5 from 1953 of November. And uh, absolutely nothing in the notes as far as uh, first appearances or anything. So this book has absolutely nothing going for it. But right here, I don't know if you can see that. It's got a cool ass July 22nd, 1954 date stamp. So this is a really, really good book. I really love it. And I hope you enjoy this book. And uh, get out there and hunt for one of these. And if you find one, you've uh, captured a, a rare unicorn. And uh, that is all we have time for today. We have finished up in 11 minutes with about 30 books. So I think we did pretty good. Uh, Thor came out this week. You want to hear my re review of Thor? I ain't never did a review on here. My review of Thor is I don't know because I didn't watch it. I don't watch Marvel movies. I don't watch Thor and Chung Chi and uh, Miss Marvel and uh, who else is it? Uh, Doctor Strange. I don't watch all that rubbish. Uh, I don't even got time for no kid movies. I'm trying to read comic books. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got time for that. Rubbish. All that's rubbish. You don't know the reviews of damn Thor. Go, go Google it. And that's all for today. So if you like what you see and see what you like and like what you do and do what you like and just whatever, just hit that like button down below. Hit that subscribe button down below. And uh, uh, leave me some comments down here about anything you want to talk about. If you saw something you like. If you've been to Huntsville, Alabama before. If Thor's rubbish. If you're offended by me calling Thor rubbish. Uh, if you like Chung Chi or Chung Chi or Chung Chi, whatever his name is, or... Uh, Miss Marvel, maybe maybe you think Miss Marvel could beat up the mummy back there. I don't know. Tell me about how Miss Marvel would kill that mummy. Whatever you like, bro. I don't care. Just leave me a comment. I'd like to talk to y'all guys, and uh, I will see you again next time beneath a blackened sky.